Right, <coughs> what I've done, I've gone to the north end of this grassy bank and as I walk, I just thought it would be a good idea, I'm going to check out, so I've not actually checked any of it, a little walkway there over a little dike ditch, I haven't, I've seen a, a solitary bee orchid a hundred metres away from a three by three metre patch where there's a few dozen and I've never ever ever found one outside of that patch until today where I found a solitary bee orchid I was just cycling by and now I've got my eye in with them at, ah, that's interesting make a note of that at the corner of my eye, I spotted on its own. Oh, nice bit of rubbish. Some idiot. Um, chucked it from a car, no doubt. Did see some foreign speaking people go by actually earlier with families in, probably the kids threw it out. Um, I haven't seen any others. I'm just scanning this see if there are any others. There's the one I spotted on its own. Just pan to the right, there's my bike where I stopped after I spotted it. Just wheeled it out of the way of the light while I took photos. And I'm just scanning this area now. Yeah, would have been nice for some um, animals to uh, turn up. There's a golden beetle, that daisy-like flower. I haven't seen any other bee orchids. Funny enough, actually, it's just occurred to me, it's this, that's exactly where a patch of uh, primulas in primroses managed to appear, but was never here before either of about 50 or 60 and unlike orchids they don't disappear and fail to come up for several years and then pop up again orchids, the majority of the plants are under the soil like the lumpy bits you see on the ones that you buy in garden centres or where the name comes from but uh, these, they spend most of the time beneath the soil and on bad years they might not appear at all if the conditions are not right so I've just scanned that entire area there was a single solitary bee orchid now I'll be honest you know, and I'm pretty sure I'm right there is a nature scam going on around here. Buying a bunch of primulas would be quite cheap. Buying bee orchids is a different thing altogether because I know I've seen the plants for sale for 40 or 50 quid. I imagine you'd get a lot of primulas or in some cases where they've planted them, auriculas for the price of a single bee orchid. So there you go, one single bee orchid, 100 metres from the main 3x3 metre site. It's the only one I've ever seen away from the site. 